terminating a pre-polished LC connector. The first thing we're going to do is prepare our workstation. Now while doing this, we're going to place our applicator tip onto our Loctite 414 glue and then place the cap over that applicator tip. We will also be putting on our fiber optic disposal disc onto our termination tray. Next we're going to place our boot onto the half of our ST cable remaining from our cleaving activity. We'll now be cleaving our fiber at 10 millimeters, so repeating the cleaving process, upstripping the cable at 30 millimeters, inserting it into our cleaver, and then cleaving it again at 10 millimeters. A best practice to keep in mind is to go about five millimeters at a time while stripping the cable jacket from your fiber to ensure that you won't break your fiber. Now once you've stripped off 30 millimeters of cable jacket from your fiber, you're going to strip off the buffer and then clean it using one of your alcohol pads. Now while cleaving your fiber, don't forget that the cable jacket lines up where you're going to be cleaving. So for this we'll be cleaving 10 millimeters, so our cable jacket is going to line up with the 10 on the bendable measurement arm. After cleaving, don't forget to properly dispose of your excess fiber. Next we're going to test for the lighthouse effect using our spot. While spinning the cable around, you want to make sure that no light is coming from the sides and all light is being transmitted through the tip of the fiber. Next, we will be plugging our cable into our visual fault locator. Now before terminating the pre-polished connector, you will need to remove the black protective cap from the back of the connector which covers the canal. Be careful while removing the black cap as the connector is fragile. Next we'll be turning on our visual fault locator and test fitting our cable. Now you're going to insert your exposed fiber into the canal on the connector and it's going to guide itself in as you apply gentle pressure until the light is completely passing through the tip. Now once all light is passing through the tip, you're going to add one single drop of your Loctite 414 glue and you're going to give it about one minute to dry. Now once it is dried, you're going to apply the boot to the connector.